Hello Scorpio, how are you? So Scorpio, I am going to be doing your July 2021 reading and what a month it is Scorpio, you know, I hope that you're feeling really positive and you know, you believe and see that things are actually, you know, moving in the right and best direction for you. So Scorpio, the, the month of, you know, July, a lot of the action is to do with your ninth house and this is about higher learning this is a positive time it's spiritual time as well so you know the first week i feel a lot of you scorpions are you know you know you are in a really positive mind state that you know things are going to be not just working out for you but just like you know the future looks a little bit more brighter i know that a lot of you have been going through quite a lot of like you know, it could be stress and strife and, you know, um, not, you know, speaking to people one uh, one minute and not speaking to people or, you know, just basically going within. But, you know, the first week, such a really nice time for you, Scorpio, because you have a beautiful card, such a beautiful card. It is the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, and I know some of you Scorpions, you love to see Pentacles cards. I mean, who, I mean, sorry, the Nine of Pentacles. And who doesn't like seeing Pentacles cards? But this is a time that, you know, things feel a little bit more secure for you now because this is actually a Venus in Virgo card. And, you know, you know, Scorpions and Virgos get on very well. And with this Venus in Virgo card, it's about, you know, feeling more secure, you know, feeling a bit, things are a bit more intact, whether it's love, relationships, you know, even like your your self-worth, your views on how you see the world, especially when you have the sun in your ninth house, you know, the first week, you know, you could be discovering new things, you know, this could also be, you know, different opportunities could actually come as well. And, you know, the opportunities could come pretty quick. But also, you know, you're going to actually feel, I do feel it might be to do with something that you've actually worked on for a while. And it's people that are gravitating towards you. And, you know, you're going to feel a bit more accomplished in what you are actually doing instead of just like coasting. So, you know, it, you know, the, the nine of pentacles is also a car and that the number nine it actually is about, you know, humanitarianism work. So this could be with people this could be to do with you know working in a group it also could be you know working with you know underprivileged people you know um you could be you know it's definitely about discovering yourself the first week and you know this is a this is a lovely time it, it's always nice when it actually starts off really well for you you know because it's always good when you feel a bit more secure you can come out of your shell a bit more and you feel that nothing's going to actually stand in your way and you have a oracle card which says mediumship and it says you have natural ability to connect with departed loved ones so even though it is about you know people that have crossed over this also i feel is about your intuition you know there are things that you have you know there may be someone from you know someone or a loved one that actually passed and they could be actually be guiding you now showing you that everything's going to be okay you know your guardian angel or you you know you could be you know looking back on the past um seeing who actually was like a strong presence in your life and it's also one of the reasons why you could maybe you know you are think feeling and thinking really positive and things are a bit more structured in your life the second week you know the second week we are are in the new moon in your ninth house so this is to do with you know what you want to learn who you want to surround yourself with you know you might be teaching you might be you know learning a new language or you know surrounding yourself with people who are completely different to you you have the star card which is actually an Aquarian card and you know Saturn is squaring you it's making you actually go you know even though it's squaring you it's actually in a fourth house that's making you go within making you sort of like forcing you to look back on your past but with the star card with the second week 
it is a it is a card of hope and it's also a card of hopes and dreams so really think about scorpio especially the new moon really think about was this something you really wanted to do but you was actually afraid to do you know would you actually you know have you all have you are you just staying within your shell and not you know really going outside your comfort zone is there something stopping you is there someone stopping you i feel the first week the second week is about lots of questions where you actually want to go and especially if you are getting older scorpio you know um you know we're all getting older <laughs> you know it's a, it's a way of life but you know you may be feeling a bit more serious now like you know you know, I've been doing this and doing that to survive, but I actually really want to, you know, do this, you know, so the star card and even the second week and with the new moon in your ninth house is showing you just go for it, you know, or, you know, do some like investigation work, read up on things, you know, listen out for things because you just never know. And the oracle card you have is deal away addictions. So it says time to let go of behaviours that are blocking you from your heart's desires. You know, and ask, you know, for help from Archangel to help you with your healing. So even it says deal away addictions, it's about being honest the second week, you know, especially this new moon. So being honest with, you know, are you treating yourself well? Is this something you actually wanted to do? Or you know, are you just, you know, just, you know, just going about life, just doing what you need to do. The second week is, I feel is quite powerful for you, Scorpio. It's not only it's about being honest, but it's a new beginning for you. And you may, I have a feeling that a lot of you may feel that, you know, whatever like conclusion you come up, come to, or, you know, what you've actually decided is going to be for the long haul. The third week, things get a little bit busy the third week you know you have really lovely cards scorpio and you know the third week you have you know the nine of pet the knight of pentacles and also we're like in the mid of you know the sun in cancer you know so your vibration it, i feel it does feel very high you know very positive you know we've, we've, we've come out of the new moon but still things are going to be, you know, shining down on you what you want to do. So this is a great time, the third week to actually sort of like, you know, it's a pentacles, you know, it's get on that horseback, you know, really be serious in what you actually want to do now. Okay. And that, you know, this, this card is about, you know, adventure. Okay. So it's about adventure it's also about travel you could also actually be hearing news because this is about news as well so the news could be you know i have a feeling scorpio that this is you know this is good news that's going to be coming or you could be telling someone else good news okay so you know the news that i feel that you could hear something you've actually been waiting for for a very long time and this could be from january as well so yeah so good news is definitely coming the third week you know um or you could be hearing good news it can it can go either way you know so the good news that i feel that you're going to feel it like i said it's going to be from that you've I've obviously been waiting for or you could have been you know manifesting this you know because you, you've done a lot of work on yourself from the beginning of this year and you know um the good news that you're going to hear or your the, the people someone's going to tell you this is going to probably be on the this is going to be the cherry on the cake okay and try not to think nothing there's going to be there's something bad that's going to be happening as well you have the animal power and the animal power card is saying your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and helping you with this situation so there's lots of like protection and there's lots of you know you know there's you know you're going to feel more you know i feel that you're going to feel a bit more um you know a bit more grounded now and you know things are just working out for me fine you know this is all what i've actually wanted to do 
and you know it's sort of like it's more or less like a thank god and you're going to also feel more powerful and you know feeling powerful and not only powerful confidence is also key as well scorpio the last week it ends really positive you know um you have the temperance card and the temperance card is also it's a sagittarius jupiter card it is also about moderation okay so with this temperance card it is showing you scorpios that you know try not to get too crazy too over the top in anything that happens towards the end because you know we have you know it's the sun is in you know leo and it is in your 10th house so even though it does you know it's you got some squares come it's a square you know so it can cause a little bit of frustrations happening within your career the sun shining in your 10th house could also cause you it could also make you have too many opportunities make you you know you there could be lots of there could be too many decisions that you have to make and you know the last week is all about making like the right decisions that come for you i feel that you know the the good news that you do have that happens you know is you know to do with something that you're gonna have to make a decision but you can not being greedy but it's just like i can do it all you know i can do it all i don't need help or you know i want it all you know so you have to really like moderate your thoughts you know because it is an exciting time and you know you having the you have an it's an angel card the temperance card is an angel card and by you having this angel card you know there's like blessings that are going to be coming to you but the blessings can also cause you to be you know it can overwhelm you as well you know especially the sun being in your 10th house it can overwhelm you but also, you know, things, um, you know, just know that, you know, it's, it's a harm, it's a harmonizing time, but also that things can just be, you know, things can be, you can be caught up a lot in like the whole, you know, it's Jupiter, isn't it? So it's very positive. You can, but you can be caught up in this whole positivity and not thinking about what needs to actually come first. So it really does end well for you. And you have the emotional sensitivity message and it's saying honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it's a gift to us all so it's connecting connecting to your heart connecting to your mind as well you know listening to your heart and mind listening to you know if you have these so much it's from the good news as well but if you have so much opportunity so much you know things that are coming your way in a very grand way um in a highly you know highly positive way card is saying listen to your heart you know because it won't let you down listen to your intuition you know you're going to look back on this july as a very pos one of the most positive months for you um scorpio and you won't forget it in a hurry but you've also you know like i said towards the end just you know try and take your time um you know because things it's, it's like neptune it's like things can just be sort of feel not it can feel like too good to be true and sometimes when we really want opportunities or when we really want things to come our way it comes all at once and it's like oh my god you know i want it all before it actually goes it's not going to actually go it's just sometimes there for you as a test to see if you've learnt as well okay so scorpio that was your july 2021 reading i hope you enjoyed this reading you know please don't forget to like share and subscribe and also you know check out my podcast which is on apple and um spotify and also check out empath butterflies who does tarot readings for all the signs and also natta for days who interviews people during the pandemic so scorpio Thank you very much for listening and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.